Okay. Um, fuck. Let's go outdoors. The day during <laughs> recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there's about 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself. But who cares? It's a rad party. You gain too fun. Woe is me! Say! Could Miranda possibly be doing this because she wants attention? Only one way to find out. Oh, hello! I didn't see you there! As I was standing here, <coughs> suffering, galloping in silence. She did, and she wasn't, but okay. <laughs> I had the most tragic injustice before me earlier this morning. I was rejected from my school's water polo team. All the humanity! All the humanity! <laughs> they claimed I was mistaken on how polo is conducted underwater. Excuse me, but I was raised underwater. I was what even supposed to play water polo without a heavily armored seahorse as a mount? That's funny. How, I ask you? <laughs> that must be a big ass seahorse. A big ass? <laughs> Perhaps I intended them, but I implied they were too impoverished to afford sea seeds. Sea seeds. <laughs> I tripped over my own words. If so, ellipses, why would I love the <laughs> preparations? <laughs> <coughs> But it may be too soon for them to show for me to show my face. Would you be so kind as to take them the gift of this omelet to begin the healing? I love eggs. <laughs> I am told that peasants consider eggs to be a delicacy. I'll gladly be a peasant. <laughs> um, obviously, and what would make the gesture even better is a personal touch of. Toppings, <laughs> caviar, eel, chocolate-covered sand crabs. They'll never forget this was the present from a mer princess. An elegant stenciled <laughs> card from your sincerest apologies. <laughs> well, with your sincerest apologies. <laughs> a list of all their fears Ooh. and bundles of compromising photographs. Ooh, hot. This sounds <laughs> I don't know which one to pick. <laughs> which one seems more like her? Um... <laughs> I don't, I'm gonna say this because it sounds more elegant. You know, caviar is pretty elegant. Shit! Eloquent? Oh, no, we oh, fuck. <laughs> Seafood in an omelet? Oh, that's Perfect. right. She's a mer princess. <clears throat> the poor souls may never have tasted an egg before. My goodness, some may have mere millions of dollars to their names. <laughs> Who knows the last time they had any food at all? Jesus. Surely their taste buds would be overwhelmed by anything suited for the delicate palate of a mere royalty. They're not overwhelmed and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Let us first introduce them to the taste of a pure egg. Miranda Jesus waves. <laughs> Miranda <laughs> waves you on your way to make your omelet delivery. <clears throat> Wait, you still have to deliver this omelet? And Miranda isn't even impressed with you? Aw oh, man, you lose minus two fun and minus one smarts. <laughs> Oh. Eh, nobody cares about those stats. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's Andrew's it's turn. It's my turn. <laughs> oh right. Yo, yeah. Andrew. It's your birthday. Um, I can't go to the sport field. I can go to the audit. Can I go hang out people in the bathrooms? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Where's the make out point? <laughs> <laughs> make out reef. Now I go to the library. Ooh. That day, you spend some time in the library. <laughs> Let's just spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. Hot. Hey there, cutie pie. I found your prostate. Let's chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh it doesn't my God. sound very nice, but who's the one to blame if they respond in some blatant scam? You lose 10 karma, which isn't a stat in this game, so who cares? And you gain oh. plus two money. <laughs> well, isn't Rand you a rich bitch? <laughs> Afterwards, you discover you've been poisoned. And only Vera has the antidote. She does this all the time. It's how she invites you to hang hey out. There. Hey there. Uh, Dante, that's you. There you- <laughs> wait, I forgot the voice. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Thank you so much for coming. 
Is that the kind of girl you go for? No. Yeah. Um, that's what I'm going for. <laughs> <laughs> Does she come? Um, wow. Andrew, this is you. No, that's you, still. Oh. Hit enter. Hit enter. <laughs> 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 I'm embarking on a new criminal enterprise, and I need a cons... Consigliere. Consigliere. Thank you. <laughs> the idea is simple, yet brilliant. Think Uber, but for killing people. Wow. What? It's called Hot? murder. It's <laughs> <laughs> like murder. <laughs> murder. Murder. <laughs> but it turns out that the market is flooded with assassination apps. Assassination apps and blood. I need a way to get ahead of the pack, and since you're That's such good. a good advisor... Ooh. <clears throat> Differentiate yourself by being the only service that offers range organic murders. Viral marketing, literally. Tailor a highly contagious virus to make people love murder. Mm. <laughs> love it. Remember... I think viral marketing. Oh, fuck yeah. Quite literally. Ooh, nice. Ooh, smart. You can do that? Great. You can use my private chemical weapons laboratory. Of course she has a private <coughs> chemical weapons laboratory. <laughs> private. And so. This is working better than I ever have imagined. Demand for murder has gone through the roof <laughs> since you released that virus. Maybe stop calling it murder. <laughs> sure, the side effects include vomiting, bloody tears, male <laughs> <laughs> right. Dante. Oh my god, Dante! It's a dream come true. Cobra feet. <laughs> Time dial. Cobra feet doesn't have to deal with those, those nasty Hold on, Cobra feet, can we address that for a second? No. No, is that an actual affliction? But Obviously. cobras don't have feet. They're snakes. <laughs> Snake! <laughs> uh, renegade. <laughs> Wait, renegade spleen. <laughs> Yeah. That's a Microaggressions, bad name. Yeah. sudden tattoos, hair trauma, liquefaction, and coughing. Ooh, coughing, <laughs> I don't know, man. But it's well <laughs> worth it for the profits I'm racking in. Plus, I'm making a literal killing selling uh, I'm yeah. making a literal killing selling people the antidote for all those side effects. It's not actually an antidote though, it's actually just heroin. Same difference. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ, this woman is evil. <laughs> Did you know they used to give heroin to babies a present? Yeah, the real world is exactly as amoral in this video game. But whatever, you gain two creativity and one money. How Bravo. much of this stuff is factual? Let's trade places. Do you want challenge or random? Um, Let's do challenge. Random. Okay. Right. Fine. Everyone chooses the food. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Okay. Um, Bacon. Pizza. pizza. Damn it! <laughs> uh, double stacked hamburger with cheese. So cheeseburger? Oddly specific. Okay. Okay. Andrew, what was yours? <laughs> Mine was pizza. Also, <laughs> player orders is decided based on how funny it would be to give Blue the nickname Blue the Cooled your food choice. Start debating now. Okay, so here are our options: Blue the Cool Pizza, Blue the Cool Bacon. Andrew, what was yours again? Pizza again. Still pizza. Yellow the cool pizza. Red uh, the double stack. No, 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 no. It would, it would still be blue. Yep. What? Read the instructions. Yeah, that's true. Blue the cool double stacked hamburger. With cheese. With cheese. <laughs> I'm totally going with that one. And that, that makes a lot of sense because, you know, blue cheese. So does that mean. Yes, so you go first. Red, I think. Okay. Dab a D, dab a die. I'm so confused. All right. Yeah, the player who ordered yeah. decided on how funny it is. So oh, I think. Yeah. Wait. Oh no, you're supposed wait. to pick the one that was funniest. Yeah, blue the cool double stack hamburger. Wait, 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 wait. That this was mine, though. So. That's what I, that's what I thought. That's what I was gonna say. Isn't it gonna? Well, I already clicked it though. Oh, so oh, we're oh. stuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he goes second, and I'm gonna give. Shit. Randomize third it. Two fucking. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I just. <laughs> <laughs> it still ended no, up. With this. Still... <laughs> oh wow, not last. Okay. <laughs> I'm second. I'm okay with Finally. this. <laughs> oh god, this game is gonna be fucking long. Yep, I'm not gonna yeah, I'm gonna long. have to leave in like Jesus. an hour and a bit. Oh, okay. we better make this quick then. Um, uh, uh, who are you? Uh, I'm gonna buy stuff from her. Who are you? You're about to dig into a delicious bowl of beef jerky when you see the wolf pack across the table. Yes. You. Jesus! Oh shit! You got 
out there with a witch to be jerked. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Come on, I'm totally trade you anything for our lunch. You can have this dead ferret or this half-true telephone receiver or... While one of them is talking, the others just straight up eat your beef jerky. You hit their noses with the newspaper, but it's too late. <laughs> uh, whoops, guess we better tray after all, huh? Which of our food do you want, dog? Ooh, how about this black plastic bottle labeled, seriously, don't drink this, it's poison. <laughs> and nothing. Give me my beef jerky back, now. Um... I, mean, I just want to see what the poison is. Oh, is that what it says? We found it in a garbage bin with skull and crossbones on it. But it's good to eat, so we took it. <laughs> but if that's the only thing you want, I guess you could have it. You don't give them time to change their minds. You reach across the table, snatch and chug. Oh my snatch. god. <laughs> the TV news that night, you learned that after drinking the elixir, you went on a bit of a rampage. <laughs> Specifically, you declared the cafeteria a sovereign state and abolished all laws <laughs> except for party forever. Love it. Your government is still overthrown by the National Guard, but you've been nominated for the Nobel Prize for partying. You gain four plus one. Well, who knows poison could be fun? Right. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> four plus fun. I'm going to hang oh. out with uh, the kitten. Who wants to do the kitten voice? The first person who says to me, I'll shoot What's you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my little shop. Buy some shit. I have some shit. I, I asked you what it's going to be today. I asked you what it's going to be today. Are you going to hit enter? Oh, yeah, sorry. So take a look. Sorry. Ooh. I think I bought a tampon the first time I played this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can buy events? What do you do with these items? Events. Dragon heat. Do we need to get Michael in here? <laughs> <laughs> a motivation. Oh, yeah. Catch you later. I had Thanks. to buy this. <laughs> Happy um, little accidents. No, this <laughs> uh, why not? Vera is drinking her customary lunchtime scotch because you can drink whatever the hell you want at this school. But Scott's not making it easy for her. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, Vera. Which? Uh, what was my voice for this guy? Hey, Vera. <laughs> what you drinking? What? Scotch. Why? Cause it smells like a delicious forest fire, and I'm curious. What's it called? Scotch. Yes. No, that's what it's called. <laughs> Did he think his name was Scotch? Scotch. Yes? <laughs> no, I'm not saying your name. I'm saying the name of the drink. I'm drinking scotch. It's mine? No, it's mine. The boys are called scotch. <laughs> That's what you called it. Ooh, is it like an energy drink for scots? <laughs> I mean, it's like an energy drink for Scottish people. Tra oh Actually, my god. <laughs> Hey, I'm a Scottish person. I'm as Scottish as it's possible to be. I'm the most Scott. No, God. What will it take for you to, to drop this issue? Scott's not going to drop it unless you do something. So you cut in and say, Yeah, it is Scott's, but today's opposite day, so everything that's Scott's is actually Vera's. You're right, Scott. That drink is your birthright. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to tell me five times, but I'm <laughs> I love that option. <laughs> Me too, Dante. No, what are you doing? Stop! Okay, I just drank the whole bottle anyway. You utter twit. That scotch was brewed for King Tutankin... King Tut. Tutankin. King Tut. Just King Tut. King Tut. Himself. <laughs> I had to have an ad... An <laughs> ben Street Archaeologist betrayed and murdered for that bottle. What? Sorry? Could you say that again? I was blackout drunk from all your scots I drank. <laughs> Let me just go on notice that I did I didn't know that his name was Tutankhamun set a moon. I just didn't remember the abbreviated name. You're impossible. <laughs> I'm impossible. Hooray! <laughs> you drag Scott away to escape Vera's wrath. He spends the afternoon doing all your math homework for you. Turns out wait uh, wow, I skipped a word there. Turns <laughs> out Scott's <laughs> way smarter when he's blacked out. Let's do this. Alright. Let's, Let's hang out with Polly. I've had good luck with her. <clears throat> Liam and Polly are alone at this table. They're flanked by two beefy hobgoblins in school security uniforms. What do these two bodyguards? Uh, what do these two have bodyguards now? What do these two have bodyguards now? They aren't bodyguards. They're food guards. <laughs> uh, Principal Giant Spider found out we weren't eating during lunch, so he assigned us guards to be to us because he thinks we're having eating disorder. 
And we do have an eating disorder. It's called being dead. <laughs> Except it's not an eating disorder. It's an identity and a lifestyle. Death style. Whatever. <laughs> the point is that they won't let us leave until we've eaten our food. Which will be never. And I have a meeting of the Smug Superiority Club to conduct next period. I can't be late. If you could just figure out a way around these food guards for us, I'd be super grateful. Like, in a sexy way. Ooh. <laughs> well, you can't say no to that. Time to enact your fiendish clever plan. Fiendishly clever plan. <laughs> Dump all of Polly's food onto Liam's plate. Dump all of Liam's food on the Polly's plate. <laughs> yeah, which Who one of us you like sex better? With more? <gasps> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> With all the deafness and raw sexuality of Indiana Jones, you're empty Polly's food onto Liam's plate and his lap. Oh, present day that. Indiana it's Jones? Too much food. <laughs> I can't even artfully arrange it for a decent food pick. Meanwhile, I seem to have eaten 100% of the food on my plate. No problem. Nothing to see here. Luckily for you and Polly, the hobgoblins are complete idiots and no object premise. With no object premise, I'm like butchering the English language today. <laughs> they instantly believe Polly's lie. You traitors, I thought we were in this together. Why did he say, change his voice to a rich guy? <laughs> I mean, he was really bored, but now he's kind of excited. <laughs> <laughs> I love that that's his excited voice. You thought? <laughs> That was your first mistake. I say hi all the time, so I never think. You and Polly ditch the cafeteria and then ditch school and then do so many drugs you end up in a ditch. <laughs> so responsible. 